Okay, so just another quick uh, video. Uh, somebody's been asking about how I set up my bottom boards. Uh, back here, you'll notice I've got a, uh, a spare, an empty uh, base. Uh, this one has insulation, but the main ones don't. It, uh, you don't really need uh, insulation on these bases, especially if you've got lots of snow. But you'll notice there's, there's a, a typical uh, Paradise Honeybox uh, bottom board. And it's got the built-in screen. So what I've done is, I, my base is pretty much just have that middle slot. The base sits on there. And then the slot opens into a crawl space. So, and this uh, this bench here can take three colonies, and the other one takes five. And basically, it gets boxed in. So, like you can notice, this one now uh, is almost all boxed in, and uh, the skirting goes right to the ground. So, you don't get any cold winds going in. Basically, that's it. It's just open right to the crawl space and once the snow falls then you get a nice insulated cavity down there just take you over to here and uh, because of the snow starting to fall this morning uh, I just put some plywood down to, that I had lying around I'll have to do a yard cleanup in the next couple of days but uh, basically even in this weather, the bees are flying out and then dying in the snow. So what I do is I put the pieces of plywood in and it, it'll just stop the bees from flying. So I've got a couple little things to do here yet, but uh, yeah, it should be done uh, in the next couple of days or so. But they're pretty much well covered now for, uh, for what they need for the winter. Thanks. So here's uh, another three hive setup. Uh, two singles and a double. The double is on the right side. Similar exclosure. Uh, and all that styrofoam on top is just extra styrofoam that was lying around. So I just stack it on top. And this one here is fully ready for winter now. It's got a roof on it. Uh, and then if you go close, you'll see it's got little entrance protectors. And that there is just to keep... Uh, the snow from piling in and the other thing I'll do with that is my mortality in front of the colony will uh, plop on those uh, boards and then I'll be able to get an idea of uh, if the colonies have no CMR or not so it's just an easy way of counting uh, my uh, my mite loads so I'll, uh, I'll share a picture of what that looks like producing a yard so you can see there's a big nice meadow here so that meadow is covered with uh, dandelions and wildflowers and it's the bees that have the nicest views that uh, that I know of so really nice spot thanks so this bee yard here is pretty much put away uh, for the rest of the season I'll just have to come and grab my uh, my solar uh, my solar battery to protect it and recharge it and store it but uh, once the snow falls I'll come do that once the bears go to sleep but uh, yeah so now this yard here is pretty much done till April I don't plan on really coming back until then <laughs>